Yesterday I reseeded that 70 acre piece of grass there. Um, the reason why we reseeded it, we thought it was a little bit light, the plant count was low. So we figured we'd just go in there and put some more seed down. We did it with our old Merlot press drill there. And um, it's a high salinity area. The soil has a lot of salt in it. So it never really grows conventional crops that well, like barley, wheat, peas, and canola. So we figured we'd find a higher salt tolerant plant and we decided on AC salt lander. So that's what we planted in there last year. And I just went over it and put some more seed in the ground. Unfortunately, that Merlot press drill there didn't put 100% of the seed in the ground uh, I guess if you want to get the best seed bed you should cultivate it and till that piece of land up but we didn't we just seeded through the grass stubble there we didn't want to tear up all the grass that was already established there so I just went through with that press drill press some seed on top and uh, probably there's still quite a bit of seed exposed on top so today I'm gonna have to harrow it and after I harrow it I'm also gonna roll it because there's quite a few rocks on there and um, hopefully next year this piece of land is gonna yield some awesome grass. So with the harrowing and the rolling today, we're gonna get some help and um, I'll show you guys the help when it shows up here. <laughs> so this is Austin from Full Line Egg here. Brought this fence out. They, uh, Gen 6, we also have brand new. Uh, it's similar to the Fen 1050 or the 1000 series. The stylings, the cab, and all that. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, it looks pretty awesome. Just walk around here for a bit. So this thing's loaded up. It's got a heated and cooled seat. It's got a refrigerator right there, or a cooler. Uh, it's even got a camera right on the front there, so it's pretty fancy. Getting her hooked up to the harrow. <laughs> we need a smaller pin. <laughs> hooked up we're gonna head out to the field now so before we head out to the field we'll do a quick walk around I'll let you take it away okay so it is a uh, Fent 942 Gen 6 um, it's a brand new design I said this before uh, but it's got the big tires on it so it's got 600 by 70 R34 on the front and then we got some big boys on the back from 750s uh, pretty simple to start here we got some LED lights for walking up into the cab uh, at night. LEDs, they'll turn off when you get out uh, at the front. On this particular model, we have a front PTO. Um, we got a bit of weight on the front here, three point hitch on the front. These headlights are actually adjustable headlights. So if you got a big load on the back and the machine squatting a little bit, you can adjust the headlights. Uh, that way you can still see right in front of you. You got controls at the front here so if you're hooking up uh, the front three-point hitch you can adjust and make sure it's all you don't have to be running back and forth to the cab so that's that's pretty sweet yeah it's really handy um, front axle suspension uh, it's kind of like a wishbone front a uh, front axle it's in these in this model it's similar to the Fent 1050 or the Fent 1000 series uh, Fence are CVT transmissions, but in these new ones in the Gen 6, it is actually more or less two CVT transmissions, one for the front, one for the rear, and they both work together. So if you're getting slipping, they send power to the other one. So it's, it's, it's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. So this one, it's all, since it's all loaded up, we got the chrome package on the exhaust stack. <laughs> we got one toolbox here. We got another toolbox in the side here tons of storage tons of storage and then so you can get up to the side wash the windows yeah 
And you do have the wa uh, window wipers on the front and then the side oh, here yeah. and the back. So if it gets dirty, it's pretty handy. You can always see. Pretty easy to keep clean. Exactly. The and viewers then, will like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got wheel weights on the side. This particular model does have duals with it. Oh, um, yeah. We don't have the duals on it. Yeah, I don't think you really need it for what you're doing. So oh. um, we got hydraulics on the back. PTO, um, you got air hookups. Uh, this machine, it all runs with air brakes. So when we go into the cab, you'll actually be able to see it has an automatic parking brake and it's air parking brakes, uh, similar to semis and all that kind of stuff. Wow. Cab suspension. Um, some more controls. Yep, some more controls on the back. So in the cab, you can go on the joystick or in the monitor, the Vario terminal, and you can set which which hydraulic remote you would want to control from here. Okay. So if there's a particular one, if you need to wing something out, if you need to lift the hitch up, you can plug it in, set it to the right color, and then here, just do it all. Um, lift and lower three-point hitch, and then your PTO. Huh. So it, it's really simple to hook, hook implements up to this machine, uh, especially there's lighting all around. It's, it's a really good machine. Nice license plate up there too. Yeah. Sweet. After that. <laughs> so quiet. Yeah, it's a really quiet machine. I think there's gonna be a lot of smiling in today's video. Yeah. <laughs> So we gotta take the safeties off. So I lifted the hydraulics just right here. This pin should just slide out. So we got it set up. The GPS is set up right there. And um, what's the automatic RPM called? A uh, tractor management system. So oh, yeah. it'll, it'll adjust your RPMs as needed to run your tractor as fuel efficient and efficient as possible. Okay, so you guys can see right there, we're running just over a thousand RPM and we're going seven miles an hour with this Harrow here. And there's two cruise controls set to C1 and C2 here. So when I get to the headlands, I click C2, it slows the tractor right down to five and a half miles an hour. Then once I get back on that AB line, I just hit C1, takes her back up to uh, seven miles an hour. So pretty nice to run. So where are all your guys' dealers located? So we have a dealership. The first one originated in Saskatoon. Uh, it opened in 1999. And then I don't know the exact year, but the second one was in Swift Current, Saskatchewan. And then a number of years later, we moved out from the existing dealership in Swift Current to, and we built a brand new, completely state-of-the-art facility just outside of Swift Current. Um, it's right by the co-op there. And then just three years ago, um, we got into Saskatchewan, so we have three total. Saskatoon is the current crew. Nice and close by. Yeah, exactly.
we got that field harrowed there. We're back in the yard. We're just gonna unhook it. And we're gonna play around with it a little bit more here on the road, see how quick we can get this thing going. But first we gotta get it unhooked. So we just ripped that thing down the road there. It goes so quick, 34 miles an hour or 55 kilometers an hour. I think it's governed for out here in North America. Apparently they go quite a bit quicker yet in Europe, but uh, super smooth down the road. And it's just awesome fun to drive. We're gonna take a picture of it in the cow barn here. Looks pretty good in here. Looks very good. <laughs> yeah. I think the cows like this thing too. Look at that. <laughs> so I'm all done with it for the day. Um, they only want me to put on X amount of hours. So just parked it in the shed here. I can still put about half an hour on it right now and uh we're gonna save that for at night time here when it's super dark outside i'm gonna pull it out and uh see how bright the lights are on this thing because that's one thing i've heard the lights on these things are super impressive so i'll see you guys tonight it's about 10 o'clock at night here super dark outside so we're gonna hop back in this vent and uh, check these lights out so this is the light he was talking about earlier today lights up the steps and the whole cab is Pretty bright too right away. Okay, so everything, all the controls on this joystick here are just lit right up. So it pretty much looks like daylight right in front of us here. We're heading out to the silage pits where it's actually dark and there's no yard lights. So we can actually see how bright these lights really are. And it's absolutely insane. I want to give a huge thanks to Full Line Ag and Austin there for bringing this fence out here. I've had a blast playing around with it and hopefully we'll get this thing in front of the chopper later this summer and see what kind of horsepower this thing can put out. Because realistically the jobs we did today with the rolling and the harrowing uh, didn't put this tractor to the test. We, This thing's got 415 horsepower and that is way too much power for those two jobs. Um, but it still did a great job. Obviously it's super smooth driving through the field and just a whole lot of fun. So uh, thank you guys for watching and check out the Instagram at SaskDutchKid if you haven't already hit those like and subscribe buttons down below. And I uh, hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.